What's going on YouTube? Welcome to Fishing Sims World Pro Tour. Today we're going to be in a tournament. And I'm currently, if you look down in the bottom right of the screen, I've currently won 10 straight events in a row, which I'm happy for. And if you look up, you can see my sponsors. I got them on my jersey. Definitely making a lot of cash, a lot of TP. I had no idea I had that much tackle points, but I have a lot of tackle points, which is good. I'm not really sure which uh, we're starting with. It looks like we're just going into the new, new event. I'm currently on season three. I never got to finish the last two seasons because I just uh, accidentally went on through them i was just curious to see if you got tackle points at the end of the season or not so we can practice it or skip it this is one of my sponsors we're in lake boulder new york me and lake boulder do not get along i have the worst luck in lake boulder so we're just going to skip it and we will go start in Florida State Championship. This is my very first championship tournament that I've ran. So, for, for I can remember, I haven't played in a while. This game's really cool. You can customize your guy, make him look however you want. It's got, it's sponsored by many of big fishing companies you can have it on your boat just, just anything you could do in real life i'm going i already got two of my setups i can just reach down grab a rod and fish i'd like to get my boat i can't rem remember which boat i have i'm gonna go and equip the boat and we'll be ready okay we just equipped the bass cat puma which is the fastest boat on here i have bought the dlc for it now i'm just going to wrap it with whatever i want if you buy the dlc a bunch of these wraps get you get for free Which I, I, I could go for Ducket, but I'm not sponsored by Ducket yet. That's what the Ducket looks like. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm um, sponsored by Missile Baits. I'm not sure. I know I was at one point. We're just going to go with the Bill Lewis boat. That's what she looks like. I mean, I think it looks pretty cool. I would have went with Ducket, but I'm not quite sponsored by them yet. Our equipment looks good. So, I think we're ready to fish the Florida State Championship. Let's get into it. Hi there, and welcome to the next event on the tour. With prize money and tour points up for grabs, there's a lot at stake for each of our competitors. So let's take a look at the rules ahead of today's competition. Okay, it looks like we need to reach top 20 to make, at least top 20 to make our sponsors happy. We got a five uh, best bass weight, which is pretty, pretty good. I think I know a really good spot on this lake. I'm almost certain that's where we're going to start out. And I usually can pull about 45 to 50 pounds. So you're looking at 9 to a 10 pound fish. Each uh, bag off of this one area. Now as for anglers, it looks like we have... 100 boats we're going against. 
first round officially started we're looking at two 20 minute rounds we're going to go up here and i've never fished the bottom of this map or half of the, like these lakes are massive i ain't fished much of them i just found some a few spots by fish fishing off the banks and stuff but all right, y'all, we're currently headed in. Looks like we had a couple bass on the uh, fish farm area. We're going to pay attention to that drop where it dropped 27. It looked like some of them was posted up on the point right where it dropped 27 feet down. I love this boat. It can get you anywhere. All right, y'all, just to show you where I'm at. If you look up there, we're just to the right of Flint Cove. Now, it says you can go far back up in there, but you kind of can. But it kind of dead ends just over beyond them trees. But what I'm going to start out with on the, with the first rod today, I always start with the buzz bait in this spot. It appears there's no fish here, but, oh, it is kind of hard to, uh, cast. I haven't, I ain't played this game in a while, but I figured today we would hop on and give it another try here, and I'd show you all. Ooh, he smacked that top water. He come clear out of the water. Not very big, this will be about a three pounder. Get on in here, buddy. I think we're just gonna boat flip this dude. Alright, first one in. Coming out to be. Five pound, 11 ounce. We'll keep him. Give us a five pound, 11 ounce, which puts us in second place. We need roughly two pounds to beat. We're just starting out and just slow rolling this buzz bait. Across the top here. And that is a big one. In this area, it's pretty much um pretty much just every time as soon as your bait hits the water you got him we we'll definitely should take first place this one here is a big one i got 50 pound braid on so i'm not too worried This fish here would definitely put us back in first place. Without a doubt. I'm guessing this is probably 10 pound. And I mean, giving us a run for our money. Oh man. We're looking about a pound off of my biggest bass out of this area. Wow, what a tank. We'll go ahead and take first place. I should have got a screenshot with them. But I have seen them that big. And I'm talking, like I say, man, if every single cast in here you catch one. Seems like. I can also drop my motor, so another thing I love about this game, you can drop your motor and kind of troll while you fish. I tell you what, I think this game is 20 bucks, it's definitely worth the money.
Get on in here, buddy. This one's like four pound, five pounder. Nothing too massive. Seven pound. Pretty good one. We're gonna 27 pound with three fish. So far, we haven't had to use a single different bait. And that's our first official cast without catching a fish. And we'll have that sometimes. There has been times before I've had to leave this spot and try to find another one, but usually I'll just come right back to this and throw different lures and finally get them to bite. I'm going to try this one more cast and then I think we're going to rock a little slower presentation. Oh yeah, he smacked her right by the boat. Come right up out of them lily pads. Come on, buddy. This 50 pound just brings them right in. But I'm telling you, when you get the light line, it's tough to bring these fish in like this. I think that's number four and we got 35 pounds. Oh my lord, I see a monster. He don't want, he don't want it but the other one that I never saw come up and grabbed it. Stay down. Stay down. You almost busted me twice. That was probably 11 pounds. 10 pounds, 6 ounce. Another big bass. And that will bump us up to 45.10. So we're 5 pounds off from being nothing but 10 and over. One more 10 pounder and we've caught all 10 pound or higher fish. And uh, oh man, did I think that monster grabbed it. Coming up on nine minutes of the first period left round and we're, and we're currently leading 30 pounds higher than all of them at least is ahead I'm gonna switch it up right after I bring him in and he's not very big five pound nine ounce we're gonna throw Oh crankbait. I think this may be a kind of a deep diver. I'm, I was fishing open water in Lake Guttersville, Gunnersville, something like that. And I, oh yeah, we got the big one. We got the big one. We got the big one. Oh yeah, it's definitely him. He's about to break me. Oh my, he is ripping drag. Absolutely destroying drag. Get in here, big feller. Thought I had 12 pound, a 15 pound test on this, that I probably broke it off. And the lighter the poundage, the better on this game because if you're using a light line, you can underhand flip on here. But with this heavy line, I can't. But if I use light line, I can underhand pitch. 11 pound, 12 ounce. So we have five fish with 50 pound, 51 pounds. So mm, he smacked her crankbait right at the rib boat. Looks like another little guy.
Eight pound, eight ounce, twenty two inches. Not too shabby at all. I really wish I'd have got a screenshot for that fourteen. Guess I wasn't thinking. But once again, it's like these ones are shut down. So we're going to switch rods to a crawl, which is another little crankbait, and we're just going to crank her through these pads. I tend to catch small mouse on this little crankbait. Mmm, he smacked it. Looks about to be about a six pounder. For period two, we're going to fish a different area. Something new. If we can get us a 10 pounder, another eight pound, one ounce. We'll take him. We're running light line on here. I think we have 12. So what I mean by underhand pitch, you click your analog stick and you can side cast, which I'm not sure. I, that actually got out there pretty good, 22 feet, yards. And I'm, y'all can see right there the depth. I was just bringing it right just just above water there, about a half a foot off the bottom, and they're smacking him. But like always, it always seems like this little bait right here catches small fish. So yeah, I'm running braided on the bandit crank, 15 pound Corotta sub braid, and 50 pound braid on it. But we're going to take a look at the lures. That was the end of the first round. So here's all the fish we got. We have a five pounder. Our second fish was 14, seven, two sevens, a 10, a four, a five, 11, and an eight. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them come off of a black plague reflex buzz bait which is my favorite collar to fish on here. And our two biggest fish was a 14 and a 11. That leads us way above. You might as well not even do the math as y'all can see. I mean, you can do it yourselves. We're way above in first period. Number two, same thing. So let's just bounce straight back into it. This time I want to try a different part of the lake. Um, I didn't mean to do that. I'm not sure which one we started in, but I'm just going to bounce around, try a few areas. May go over and throw up under that dock with some crawls that I'm about to purchase. All right, y'all. So you all see, I mean, I still got it. A few lures to buy not a ton I definitely bought tons so we have a four inch yum danger June bug the thing is I've already have a, quite a bit of these 
I could go with the this crawl here. I have more of those. Also, I think we're going to go with this, this, and then we're going to rock the bandit crank. And we may as well buy that collar too. Get the old fish finder up. Like I say, I can troll. Tweet, well, I can show you all a little bit of the motor. So we just click our analog stick in here, hit up, and we can literally, if I can steer it and not hit the dock. All right, yeah, so we're gonna start with this June bug. There's a few fish on that dock. Could be smallmouth. I think there's smallmouth in this lake too. And I can fish while I'm trolling. We don't want that. We want to. So here's your underhand cast. Your pitch, per se. Like I said, the lighter your line, the farther it'll go. And right there, we pitched her out there at 22 feet, yards. I think we're going to go find some fish on a drop somewhere. I'm just going to try this little drop right here, right where it kind of anchors back up. Which I don't have a lot of fish stacked on it, but we're going to try it. I right, let the bait sink here. One of them fish are right on top. All right, y'all. Pulling out of that spot. All right, y'all. We just we definitely just found fish. There's definitely fish to drop right on a point there, right where it drops down. 100% tons of fish laying on it. A couple of them appear to be big, but some of them really never did. Finally, we just hit bottom. This fish just don't like this. On the road again. fish tons of them man there's a giant in there too definitely found fish it's out here on these weed beds most of them was right behind the boat but why first one he ate the yum danger doesn't appear to be big We'll take it. Hmm. <laughs> that was gnarly. It was laying right there. I never even saw him. He was laying right on the bank. We're going to drop trolling motor here. We'll finish our last seven minutes fishing this one spot. We're still in first by a long way. Got him. That one there might be a big one. I got to remember, I got a light line now, so I got to take it easy on them. Looks like a little better fish. Another five pound, 14 ounce. All right, I'm gonna switch the bait. Now we're gonna throw this crawl. 
I should have gave that diamond dust rattle trap a chance out there in that deep water. I think I may have caught some bass. Or the big one. He just come up on the right side if y'all saw it. Got him. I think we're going to go ahead and just use him as a thumbnail. We only got four minutes left. Definitely wasn't the biggest one. Woo! Wow, he is ripping drag. As y'all can see, this is the different. The, the difference between that 50 pound and this light line, it's unbelievable. This little probably seven and a half pound fish, eight pound fish, was absolutely destroying. Was absolutely destroying my drag. Baby one. Got a little one on here. Get in here, get in here. the giant with only 46 seconds remaining I'm not sure if we're gonna get him in in time I'm gonna have to, I mean he's not a giant giant but definitely the biggest one we got out of this area so far oh man Get in here, get in here. I'm just gonna try to horse him in. I got him. We got him. Right, he's only a seven. But he'll work for the thumbnail too. And that will leave us first place. With fifty three eight. And we've met all tournament earnings expectations. We've gained 2,000 followers, which gives us a total of 13,500. So our next event is in Texas. I'm going to give us maybe two weeks. See what type of feedback I can get on it. Let's say we can get this five likes. I'll come back and we'll fish Texas. So it looks like we didn't gain no more sponsors off of that one. Because uh, I'm not seeing none. But we're current leader with everything right now as of the career mode. But with that, I hope everyone enjoyed. Like I said, we'll get this video to five likes. I will, I will upload another one of us fishing the Texas State Championship. And with that all being said, I'll see you all next time.